This video is all about finding the finding the value of x where the equation which is x m a to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Now but before we start I will use this medium to appreciate my my new and old subscribers and also appreciate my viewers please I will also appreciate it if my viewers subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thank you. Now let's begin. So the question is 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Now 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power 3 all to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Now, according to the law of indices, if you have a to the power m all to the power n is the same thing as a to the power n all to the power m. So, we we'll interchange this. We we'll use this expression here in here. So, we have 2 to the power x all to the power 3 plus 2 to the power x equal to 30. Now, let p be equal to 2 to the power x so anywhere we see 2 to the power x we replace it with p so we have p to the power 3 plus p is equal to 30. what are the factors of 30 that when you now you have p to the power 3 minus m plus p minus 30 equal to 0. now 30 let me just write it up here 30 the factors of 30 is 2 times 3 times 5 now let's try 2 here whether 2 is where 2 is a factor of this expression so p equal to 2 you have 2 to the power 3 plus 2 minus 30 you have this 8 plus 2 10 so 10 minus 30 is not possible, it's not correct. So now let's try 3. 3 to the power. 3 to the power 3 plus 3 minus 30. You have this 3 to the power 3 is 27 plus 3 minus 30 is equal to 0. So this is correct. So that means 3. P is that means p is equal to 3. That means the factor of this expression is p minus 3 is a factor so using p minus 3 to divide this this expression here you will now have let's say p to the power 3 divide p to the power 3 plus p minus 30 so using this p to divide this p to the power 3 you have p squared so p squared times p, you have p to the power 3. p to the power 2 times minus 3, you have minus 3 p squared. So if you subtract, so p to the power 3 minus p to the power 3, this is 0. p to the power p, and my, minus times minus 3 p squared will give you 3 p square plus p minus 30 now p divides 3p square you have plus 3p so plus 3p times p you have 3p square times minus 3p 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 times minus 3p will give you minus 9p so if we subtract 3 times p square minus 3 times p square this will give you 0 this will not give you minus mp minus minus 9p will give you 10p minus 30 so p divide 10 p divide 10p will give you plus 10 so plus 10 times p will give you 10p 
plus 10 times minus 3 will give you minus 30. So if you subtract, so what you have there, if you subtract, you have, so you have 10p minus 30. So, there, so this other one is 10p minus 30. If you subtract, you have 0 or 0 or 2. So you have 0. So now, that means factor that is so i mean using this to divide this you we have p square plus 3p plus 10 equal to zero now that means p for now the product of this expression and this expression gives you zero that means p minus 3 is equal to zero or p square plus 3p plus 10 is equal to 0 which implies that p is equal to 3 or p square plus 3p plus 10 is equal to 0 applying quadratic equation where you have a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac all over 2a now applying that this expression and that means that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 while c is equal to 10 so now you now have p to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 divided by 2 times 1 so this will give you minus 3 plus plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 divided by 2 so this p will be minus 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 31 all over 2 and this is the same thing as minus 3 plus or minus square root of 31 times the square root of minus 1 all over 2 so this is something as saying um, since the square root of minus the square root of minus 1 is equal to i which is complex number so you have minus 3 plus or minus i square root of 31 divided by 2 so this is a complex number so this so since it's a complex number it's not feasible it's not feasible here now you have p equal to 3 you have p equal to 3 so that means you have and uh, we said let p be equal to 2 to the power x so now if you now put 2 to the power x equal to 3 now taking log to log to base 10 on both sides so you have log 2 to the power x base 10 equal to log 3 base 10 so and according to the law of log reading let me write it here according to the law of log reading which we are going to apply here now if you have log a to the power m base b is equal to m log a base b so applying that rule here you now have x log 2 base 10 equal to log 3 base 10 so dividing both sides by log 2 base 10 This we cancel out this. You now have x is equal to log 3 base 10 divided by log 2 base 10. Base 10. Divide by log 2 base 10. So base 10. So meaning that x is equal to log 3 base 10 all over log 2 base 10 and according to the law of log reading 
log a base c divided by log b base c is same is equal to log a base b so now that means x is same thing as saying log 3 base 2 so x is equal to log 3 base 2 now let's verify let's verify or check for the solution so now since x is equal to log 3 base 2 you have 8 x plus 2 to the power it's not 8 x sorry 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to what 30 so let's see whether this value will give us 30 so now you have 8 to the power x 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x will now be equal to 8 to the power log 3 base 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 now this is the same thing as 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power 3 log 3 base 2 plus 2 log sorry plus 2 to the power log 3 base 2 now we now have 2 to the power 3 all, all to the power log 3 base 2 plus 2 to the power 2 to the power log 3 base 2 now according to the law of indices you have a to the power m all to the power n is same thing as a to the power n all to the power m so now let's interchange this so 2 to the power 3 all to the power log 3 base 2 plus 2 to the power log 3 base 2 now that means you have 2 to the power log 3 base 2 all to the power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 so according to the law of log, um, log reading if you have a to the power log b base a is the same thing as b so look at it that means you have two here 2 to the power log 3 base 2 see 2 2 so here is 3 so the whole of here is 3 that is the mean then this one is also 3 so we now have 3 to the power 3 plus 3 so 3 to the power 3 will give you 27 plus 3 which is what 30 so it's equal to this 30 so that is it now thank you for watching till the end have a nice day please also rem remember to subscribe like comment and share the video thank you so let's end the video now